In this demonstration, we'll be working with branches inside the PLC Logic simulation software. In this example, we'll be adding a simple branch to complete the standard ceiling rung shown here. To add the desired branch, we begin by selecting the Favorites tab on the Ladder Instruction toolbar. Next, we move on to determine the location in which we wish the branch to appear. As with any other instruction, the branch will be inserted immediately to the right of any highlighted instruction on the rung. To add the branch, simply click on the branch icon located in the Ladder Element toolbar. We can now move on and populate our branch with the desired instructions. We begin by selecting the left edge of the branch level onto which we desire the instruction to be placed. We then proceed to select the desired instruction from the Ladder Element toolbar. We repeat the process to add an instruction to the next branch level. Additional branch levels can also be added to the existing structure. To add a branch around an existing instruction, click on the left edge of the branch rung level on which the instruction resides. Next, click on the branch level icon located on the ladder element toolbar. The branch has now been added and we can populate it with an instruction as previously demonstrated. To select, edit, or copy an entire branch structure, simply click anywhere on the right edge of the branch structure itself. Next, right-click on the selection to bring up the contact-sensitive pop-up menu. From this menu, several operations can be performed on the entire structure itself. As an example, select Copy Branch from this menu and we'll create a duplicate of this structure. Right click on the structure again to bring up the contact sensitive pop-up menu. Select paste to place a duplicate structure to the immediate right of the highlighted area. Any branch structure can be removed from the ladder in a similar fashion. Select the Delete Branch option to remove the structure. Similarly, this menu can be used to remove a single branch level as well. Select the left edge of the branch level that you wish to remove and right-click to bring up the contact-sensitive pop-up menu. Select the Delete Branch option to remove this single branch level. We have arrived back at our desired single branch option. Tags can be assigned to the instructions inside the branch and the circuit can be tested to confirm its operation. With the appropriate tags assigned, we can bring up the I.O. chassis to provide the appropriate stimulus. We can then place the controller in run mode by going online and test the application.